Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today we're going coin roll hunting. For those of you who don't know, coin roll hunting is a fun activity in which you can buy coins in bulk at face value from your local bank and search through them to find rare and valuable coins. The rest are re-rolled and returned to the bank. In this video, I'll be searching $100 worth of nickels. I got this particular box from my local Bank of America. So what are we searching for? Here are some targets. Shield, Liberty, and Buffalo nickels. Silver War nickels. 1950D Jefferson nickel, which is the key date. Well, we probably won't find one of these, but I'll take anything from the 1950s or earlier. 2009 nickels, very low mintages. Proof nickels, and errors and varieties. So, let's get cracking. Well, how do you like that? Oh yeah, well that's a nice ender. What a start. My bad. Totally forgot about this guy. 2005, they brought the buffalo back. I got our hopes up for nothing. Hey! How do you like that? Two thousand nine D. Alright, in this roll, I got two nice coins. One is a 1951, and the other is a really nice 1958 with some beautiful toning. Take a look at that. Nickel from the Bahamas. That's pretty interesting. Got the pineapple on the back. We got two from the 1950s in this roll. That's 1952 and 1957. Not bad. And, and a really, really nice 1969D. I might hold on to that one. All right, not too bad on this one. First off, this roll yielded a 1940, not too shabby, getting older, getting closer. All right, take a look, another 2009, that's pretty awesome, two in one box. All right guys, we've got the last five rolls. What do you guys think? You think we're gonna get some silver? All right, we've got a little bit of an error coin over here. So here's the verdict. This is what we got from the first box. So we hit a couple of our targets. We didn't get any silver, unfortunately, but we did do pretty well. So I'm pretty impressed with how many older nickels we got, actually. We didn't get any buffaloes. We didn't get any shield. We didn't get any liberty, of course. But we did get 1939, 1940, two 1941s, a 1941, a 1951, a 1950s, 53s, 54, 157, and 258s, one of which you can see has some really nice toning. That's nice. I'm going to hold on to that one. And we've got a 59 and a 69, the one that I showed you that looked really nice. I don't know if I'm going to hold on to that. What do you guys think? 
And remember we have these three foreign coins over here. We have the Bahamian coin and the two Canadian nickels. Uh, probably won't hold on to those. But we did get three that are definitely targets. We got our 2009s. I can't believe we got two in this box. That's awesome. And one of the cooler ones is we got a minor error. You can take a look at this. It is definitely off center over here on the right. In God We Trust is actually cut off to some degree. Not too shabby. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. There's a lot of great stuff waiting out there at face value. All you have to do is search for it. Anyway, please do all that YouTube stuff for me. You know, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to hit that bell symbol next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new content. And finally, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking about. Alright, until next time, Silver Picker out.